And the Oscar goes to Julianne Moore, still out. It. Julianne Moore is one of our greatest living actresses. She's appeared in some truly spectacular movies like Shortcuts, Boogie Nights, Magnolia, Far From Heaven, and Children of Men, to name a few. She's been nominated for an Academy Award five times, finally winning for her performance in Still Alice. But what are some performances of hers in films you might not be as familiar with? Here are the 10 great Julianne Moore performances you've likely never seen before. Number 10, Tales from the Dark Side the Movie from 1990. All right, this one might not be one of her better performances in a career spanning more than 30 years now, but it is a standout for any horror fan because it's one of Moore's few credits in the genre. This is the kind of fun, gross, cheesy horror anthology film we rarely see these days. And Moore is clearly having a blast in the first segment, Lot 249. How much did you tell Andy? Uh, you wrote the essay. Oh. Well, that's okay. He knows I do all your papers anyway. Moore told a funny story about this one on Jimmy Fallon. I finished and I got killed by the mummy and I went over to the director to say, um, say goodbye and thank you for this great opportunity. And he was like, you're not done. I'm like, no, I think this is my last scene. He goes, no, no. He goes, well, you didn't finish reading the script, did you? Because, <laughs> because I turn into a mummy at the end. Yeah, great, you come back. And I come back and I kill somebody else, but it was all in stage directions and I never read it. So it was so incredibly unprofessional of me. But look at you. I, I didn't read the script. Yeah, but look at and you this now. Is, it's all yeah. worked out. <laughs> if you're a fan of the actress, it's worth your time seeking out her very first movie, Tales from the Dark Side. Number nine, Vanya on 42nd Street. A year after her acclaimed performance in Robert Altman's ensemble drama Shortcuts, and a year before her major dramatic breakthrough performance in Todd Haynes' Safe, Moore appeared in this lesser-known piece in which New York actors rehearsed the 1899 play Uncle Vanya by Anton Chekhov. It changed my approach to everything. It changed who I am as an actor and what I want to accomplish when I'm working, what I want to feel. And, and it, it just it simply is taught me all about process. Moore is so fresh and compelling in this, an early sign she was about to embark on what would truly be a remarkable career. Number eight, the prize winner of Defiance, Ohio. Moore's prominence in Hollywood rose immensely in 1997 due to her appearances in the blockbuster The Lost World Jurassic Park and with the Paul Thomas Anderson masterpiece, Boogie Nights. She continued to shine in the coming years in one terrific film after another, and in 2002 she achieved the rare feat of two Oscar nominations in the same year, for The Hours and Far From Heaven. Another period film Moore starred in soon after that that sadly fell through the cracks was the highly entertaining, based on a true story, the prize winner of Defiance, Ohio, in which Moore plays housewife Evelyn Ryan, a woman who helps support her husband and 10 children by winning jingle writing contests. Ryan. What? That's right. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Mrs. Ryan, are you all right? I just have to sit down and have myself a happy cry. It's a nuanced, winning turn for Moore that mostly went unnoticed. Number seven. Savage Grace, an official selection at the Sundance Film Festival and Cannes Film Festival, Savage Grace is another Julianne Moore film that came and went with little fanfare, but unjustly so. Co-starring Eddie Redmayne, who would win his Oscar for The Theory of Everything, the same night Moore won her Oscar for Still Alice, Savage Grace tells of an unsettling relationship between a mother Barbara and her schizophrenic son Antony that ultimately leads to a shocking murder. The subject matter likely turned off many viewers, but if you're up for the challenge, this is a terrific movie with a more performance you won't soon forget. Number six, Chloe from 2010. This erotic thriller features a stellar trio of actors, Julianne Moore, Liam Neeson, and Amanda Seyfried, who both relish and transcend the trappings of this somewhat familiar genre. My husband's cheating on me. The film, directed by the great Adam McGoyan, was a commercial success at the time, but it's one I don't feel many people talk about anymore, which is a shame since it's an above average drama that hooks you in and keeps the tension rising all the way to its finale. Number five, The English Teacher, 
The same way not enough people are talking about Maggie Gyllenhaal's remarkable performance in The Kindergarten Teacher from 2018, even fewer are discussing Julianne Moore's amazing performance in The English Teacher. That is so chivalrous of you. You know, you're a role model, these kids. They look up to you. To take advantage like that, that is unconscionable. It's a stellar indie film that provides another rich character for Moore, who gives the English teacher Linda so many fascinating layers. Number four, Maps to the Stars. Katherine Hepburn once said, the right actors win Oscars before the wrong roles. And that was true when Julianne Moore went home with the gold trophy for her solid but not especially memorable performance in Still Alice. I actually think Moore gave a better performance in another 2014 film, David Cronenberg's vastly underrated Maps of the Stars, a satirical Hollywood drama co-starring Robert Pattinson. Moore is a wonder to behold as aging actress Havana, who suffered abuse from her mother and is failing to land a large comeback movie role. She explores dangerous, unglamorous territory here, that calls to mind Gloria Swanson's iconic betrayal of Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard. Hi. Are you okay? I have the flu. I need cigarettes. American spirit. And I need you to pick up some prescriptions. Ambien, Vicodin, Xanax, Zoloft, and Astragalus, and Golden Seal. If there's only one Julianne Moore movie you check out from this video that you've never seen before, make it Maps of the Stars. Number three, Freeheld from 2015. Julianne Moore has appeared in many excellent LGBTQ films, notably The Hours and The Kids Are All Right. And Freeheld is another gem you should seek out, one that's based on the 2007 documentary short film of the same name. Co-starring Elliot Page and Michael Shannon, Freeheld tells the compelling true story of police officer Laurel, played by Moore, who fought for pension benefits to be transferred to her domestic partner Stacy, played by Paige, after being diagnosed with terminal cancer. When my heterosexual colleagues die, their pensions go to their spouses. But because my partner is a woman, I don't get to do that. In my 23 years as a police officer, I've never asked for special treatment. I'm only asking for equality. Moore revels in taking on challenging roles. And here's another one she excels in, particularly in the moving relationship she shares in the film with Paige. Number two, Maggie's Plan. Here's another wonderful movie of recent years that never got its due. Written and directed by Rebecca Miller, Maggie's Plan stars Greta Gerwig as Maggie, a director of business development who decides she wants to have a baby and enlists a former college acquaintance to donate his sperm. But along the way, she falls in love with a writer, who falls for her too, even though he's married. Julianne Moore finds herself in amazing ensembles so often, and this is another one to add to the list. Ethan Hawke, Bill Hader, and Maya Rudolph adding great texture to the piece. And Moore is excellent too, showing grace and vulnerability under the most trying of circumstances. I have met a lot of control freaks in my life. In fact, I, I thought I was one, but uh, you, you make me look like an amateur. I didn't mean to insult you. Have the decency to leave him and face the fact that you poisoned my life and my children's life and probably John's life with your own selfishness. That's your burden. You earned it. Number one, After the Wedding from 2019. I could add even more titles to this list, but the last film I wanted to feature in this video is the extremely well-acted and consistently captivating After the Wedding, a remake of the 2006 film directed by Suzanne Beer. One of our other best living actresses is Michelle Williams, and seeing Williams and Moore go toe-to-toe -to -toe in this one is an incredible experience. A secret in the middle of the movie offering loads of dramatic tension. I just have, um, I have a big weekend ahead of me, so why don't you leave all this with me and we'll have lunch on Monday and I'll tell you what I can do. But in the meantime, come to the wedding and we can get to know each other better. If after the wedding passed you by in 2019, make sure you check it out. Julianne Moore is one of a kind, an actress I hope sticks around in the movies for many decades to come. If you're a fan looking for some of her lesser known titles, you could do a lot worse than this list of 10 films. They show the power of her talent and the evolution of her skills over a 30-year period in a way that will give any lucky viewer hours and hours of sheer joy. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, 
please like and subscribe and share in the comments below what your favorite Julianne Moore performance is and if there's another film of hers you think I should have added to the list. See you next time.